Hello friends. Today I will talk about an important component of the feeder rig. Did you know that the thinner the line on the reel, the further you can cast the rig? Here, physics is at work. When casting the rig, a thinner line has less surface area rubbing against the reel and the guides of the rod. Less kinetic energy is expended when the thin line straightens out from the reel during the cast, thanks to the greater elasticity and softness of the thin line. The second advantage of a thinner line is that it sinks faster. The third advantage is reduced wind resistance when fishing in a river current. However, there is an obvious drawback. The weight of the load during casting includes the weight of the feeder, which can be 100 to 150 grams when fishing in a river current, as well as the weight of the bait filled in the feeder, adding another 50 to 70 grams. So, the total weight of the load being cast is around 200 grams. At the moment of casting, while the line is held by the finger, due to the centrifugal force, the weight of the load increases several times, creating the risk of the line breaking when its critical tensile load is exceeded. Friends, how to eliminate this downside is the topic of today's video. It's about the shock leader. So, a shock leader is an insert made of a stronger line that is tied between the main line and the load. Typically, the length of the shock leader is about two lengths of your rod. The main tasks of the shock leader include, increasing the overall reliability of the rig, protection against abrasion and mechanical impacts when fishing in rough terrain and shells, protecting the thin braided line from rapid wear and tear, increasing the rigidity of the setup, and consequently reducing tangles and tangling of the line. In conclusion of the video, I will show the knot that can be used to tie the shock leader. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please take a moment to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on good videos for good people.